Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while. I hope you all are doing well. So Lumina Neo will release another update that will be available very soon and we will get new tools, Water Enhancer AI and Twilight Enhancer AI, which I'm about to show you in this video. Then new masking features, Luminosity and Object Select AI, which I'll show you in the next video. And also a fresh redesigned UI and new logo here, which looks like a light ray maybe. Anyway, before we dive in, for your information, the version that I'm using right now is the beta version. It's not the official release yet, so some features are still under development. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's try to apply water enhancer to this photo. It's a great photo, but the water looks kind of flat. Okay, so go to edit tab. And the water enhancer is located in landscape tab right here so just click on it to apply and then i'll increase the amount to 100 okay it's a bit too much so i'll decrease it to 70 maybe and reduce the blue to 40 and add some green you can also mix it with the original color but don't increase it too much just a little bit okay and you can also add brightness and contrast and if you hover the mouse to the photo you can see the area that is being affected by this effect right here the mountain is a little bit affected so I'll use mask tool you can go to refine area and change the brush to erase to remove it like this I'll add a little bit blue okay and then this is the before and after let's try another photo how about this one so go to edit and then apply water enhancer okay as you can see just the left side of the C is affected, so I'll use brush tool and change it to draw to add the brush and then pan over the area that you want to affect. Okay, and done. I can still increase the blue a little bit okay so this is the before and after look how much it changed and how clean it is okay next let's try twilight enhancer which is also located in landscape tab right here so for the twilight enhancer okay maybe this photo So this photo, as you can see, it looks a little bit flat. The sky is flat and the desert, the color is flat as well. So let's try to add Twilight Enhancer and see how it does. Okay, so increase the amount to apply the effect. It's too much, I'll decrease it a little bit. Okay, so Right here, you can change the color preset. This is Morph, and you can change it. There are five different color presets that is available. See which one you like. Or go with Morph. And if you don't like the color preset right here, you can also use your color preset. You can go to Sky and adjust the color of the temperature. And you will see that it will change to custom color preset. Okay, you can play with the settings here. We got done adjustment. You can play with it. And then scenes and water if you have water inside of your photo. Okay, then mass refinement to adjust the effect like this. 
you can play with it. Okay. Then this is the before and after. See how much it changed. Okay, it's a very powerful tool. All right, let's try another photo. Okay, maybe this one. The sky looks like overexposed. It's too bright. So let's try to apply Twilight Enhancer. All right. So we can just play with the settings. And you can just use the color preset inside. Okay, so this is the before and after. Okay, look how powerful this tools is. Okay, so that was Twilight and Water Enhancer. And in the next video, I'll show you the new masking features, luminosity and object select AI. Okay, these tools and features will be available very soon. So if you are interested to get Lumina new, you can use the code in the description to get a discount. And okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.